Welcome back. Bitcoin is not looking so hot right now. It's actually just lost 66k. It looks rough. Uh, and I'm going to explain uh, a few things here that may give you a little bit of hope, but also, uh, yeah, may, may make you more scared. <laughs> so let's jump into this. Uh, thank you for liking the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you're long, short, or in between. Maybe you're just waiting on the sidelines right now. Let me know in the comments. But without further ado, let's jump into this, right? Start off with the hash rate. We can see, uh, yes, we we have spent a couple days below this with the, the raw hash rate, right, below the moving averages, which is bad. Um, right now, the moving averages aren't, aren't actually looking so bad, right? If we do spend a couple days just above these moving averages, then we'll get across towards the upside, which will initiate another long signal. And the last long signal, uh, as you guys are aware, was around 30K. And then it closed that when this crossed towards the downside around 60K. So yeah, massive 100% trade there. Just waiting for that next entry on this one. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's be calm, cautious with this. Uh, moving on, let's go to the other on-chain stuff because this is super important, okay? Uh, we can see... The Caprol Macro Index is the update every Monday you come to see. Uh, we can see that, uh, yeah, it has turned orange, which is bad, okay? Pretty bad indeed. We can see here, if you're just looking at this chart right here, right now, uh, we can see that, uh, yeah, when it's orange, it's typical of a massive pullback. So maybe we do dive into the abyss here uh, and just test the middle section of our bull market barrier. As you guys know, we're potentially targeting around 60k, uh, but I was saying roughly between 63 and 62k would be appropriate for me uh, before looking for another entry. Uh, if we do come down here, I'm not just going to blindly buy though this isn't a filler bid scenario this is going to be waiting for uh, the downward structure to break and then we enter from that point right so we're going to be keeping an eye on this as it develops if we do recover from this point though i will probably just get back in around like 70 we'll say let's just zoom in on this and actually look uh, we can see, yeah, probably, yeah, seven, yeah, 67.5. So roughly around this kind of area, if we reclaim this horizontal, uh, it's going to be an area that I'm going to be trying to get back in on, right? Uh, a lot more on-chain stuff to show you here before we do move on. One of them being that the energy value is now actually at 79 and plummeting at a rapid rate, right? This is uh, pretty steep towards the downside right here. But it's also good because if we do reclaim this, we get uh, for the investment long, right? Uh, we get a lower entry. Before this was at like 81k, 82k, as high as that, right? So uh, the fact that it's at 79k is great. And the reason for that is, uh, yes, once we get above that area, we can put the big bags in, right? And that's where Bitcoin essentially just goes parabolic straight to the moon. You can see it every single cycle here, uh, even in this uh, little micro cycle, the 14k run, right? That's That's a trade from like, what? six uh, yeah eight, we'll say eight thousand up to fourteen thousand um on some exchanges anyway uh so yeah massive massive we can get above that and uh that coming down to 79k is pretty bearish but it just gives us a lower entry once this run gets going again right uh besides that bit of bullish news here on the electricity consumption for these Bitcoin miners. We can see that yes uh it, it is a pretty decent slope towards the upside right now uh, if I am just gonna freeze my entire computer there we go beautiful stuff <laughs> is this gonna work yeah it doesn't seem to work on that that's so weird let's just uh let's see if i can fix this there we go beautiful stuff yeah you can see just generally nice recoveries here higher lows on this energy consumption so uh yeah if this can continue going up here it's actually a pretty bullish sign across the board an update for my trades here guys you can just see this wall of green we're on a pretty decent streak right now okay uh, seven trade win streak uh, the highest trade being uh, 21 percent, which is fantastic okay and then the most recent one over the weekend we did take a little short and this was just a cme strategy i'll show you guys exactly what i did here over the weekend right uh so yeah where is this thing is it this one or is it this one it's this one here right so essentially yeah uh, after this dump we had on friday what i did here was uh yeah enter the short somewhere around here and then as we came down uh, towards this five minute volume weighted atr band i basically just closed that for a little bit of profit a little bit of a bounce off the price action channel and uh you can see that kind of spillover happening as well pretty easy trade to be going for as well as cme close being down here so you could expect to return to this level 
at some point in the weekend or the week after as we're seeing now right so uh yeah pretty decent little short there nothing crazy not a massive massive trade but uh something i thought i'd let you guys know and this was on the copy trading so those of you that are following on there uh congrats on the on the little bit of profit all right um i should talk a little bit about altcoins here altcoins are getting absolutely obliterated gala uh, is getting destroyed look at this thing but again as you guys know uh, the reason why i'm bringing this up now is uh because a lot of these altcoins will be in a massive buying scenario very very soon and the reason for this is because of these four hour volume weighted atr bands right uh, the four hours uh, once we reclaim them it's ridiculous profit massive massive pumps you can see this one ridiculous ridiculous there okay here as well so uh yeah it, it just goes to show uh, that yes uh, we can still find a beautiful long we just have to be patient here we got to wait wait for this to be reclaimed and then bang okay money can be made all right uh, and this goes across quite a lot of other altcoins i probably should have prepared some here uh, but uh yeah if we can see maybe this one is is similar i don't know <laughs> i don't know do we have the four hour here Come on, mate. I wish this indicator loaded uh, quicker, but it's such a beefy indicator. Yeah, you can see the four hour here, right? But even when we reclaimed it recently, boom, and this is just on Theta, right? Just picked a random coin. But uh, yeah, just keep an eye out on that. If you do have the volume weighted ATR bands here, if you are a Patreon member and you pay that 10 bucks a month and you have this indicator, then uh, feel free, yeah, to watch this like a hawk because when we do reclaim these, uh, it's, it's ridiculous profit, ridiculous profit coming through, okay? Uh, so... Back to Bitcoin here. Uh, obviously, let's take a look at some predictions for the day. We can see that, uh, yeah, what we're looking for, as we just talked about, is uh, essentially if we do head down today, then, uh, yeah, roughly around 62 to 63K, uh, I'll be looking for for a low to be made okay and then if we break over that sloping resistance then we'll be looking to enter along okay if you are a bit more cautious on that then you could basically wait till we reclaim the bull market barrier okay so we come down here then we break back above here around 66k then it's it's a pretty sh sure shot up right it's a pretty sure shot uh, towards the sky uh, in which we probably target this trend line again for a retest i know we tested it again here on the daily but uh yeah sometimes we like to come back and retest test that and not just sometimes a lot of the time we like to come back and retest trend lines so uh yeah keep an eye on that one but the fact is right now it is is looking slightly more bearish across the board the last thing holding us up here is a little bit of the on-chain data and of course this bull market barrier which we know we know if we're below it's a bad sign okay pretty much every single time we lose this bad boy you can see the bear market begins okay uh, and uh that's not something we want okay <laughs> we want a bull market we don't want a bear market of course we don't we can trade a bear market don't get me wrong but uh yeah i mean this is not the scenario we want. We want uh, a little bit more bullish action coming through. And uh, basically what we're looking for here is this, right? We're looking for a massive dump down into the bull market barrier, a swift but aggressive recovery, um, and then potentially some engulfing candles towards the moon from that point, right? So if we're going to take the scenario we're in right now and just compare it to some of this stuff, we hit this bull market barrier, we break over the resistance, right? The downward sloping resistance, and then it's a straight shot. And that's that's really what we're looking for here and the data really just does it just backs that up it just backs that up every you can see this right and even if you were to use uh, this line here okay either line is fine uh, yeah you can find some pretty decent entries once we break over those downward sloping resistances right it's it's like it's it's, it's like it's written in stone at this point look at this look at look at all this beautiful data backing me up <laughs> right so uh yeah that's that's the best case scenario what we're looking for right now we're looking for a test of this thing we have technically already tested it but uh we're looking for we're looking for a bit of a recovery here and if we can break over any kind of horrors on uh, sorry downward sloping resistance here along the way then uh yeah it's a great sign for bitcoin but I think it's probably more healthy if we do violate the zone a little bit and then have that quick recovery rather than trying to retest this and then maybe fading out. Uh, that could be an issue, right? Um, if you are super, super cautious here, as, you, as I mentioned before, right, we're looking, uh, we're looking at about 79K here for a massive entry, right, and then just running up to 100K from there. But as of right now, uh, yeah, that would be the super cautious. If you're slightly more aggressive, then uh, yeah, look for this line to break. Okay, so we're looking around 70K to break at this point. If we can break above that, fantastic stuff. And then if you're hyper aggressive, if you're a dirty leverage junkie that just wants to gamble and just has that itch, then uh, be sure 
to enter now. <laughs> 100x, bang it in. No, uh, I mean, if you're a little bit more aggressive, you could probably go for like, uh, yeah, 67.5, that kind of area. As I said, I'm looking around 67.8, this kind of zone, uh, really reclaiming this this kind of horizontal line. Once we get above there, I think uh, I think there's money's be made, right? And then then we'll kind of refresh and reanalyze as we hit this trend line. Okay, so that's really my plan here on the long term. If we bring it down to the short term here, uh, what we're looking at is these volume weighted ATR bands for the trades. Okay, so uh, one thing here, one more thing is uh, is going to be this uh, 15 minute volume weighted ATR band. There could be a little scalpy trade here, scalpy scalpy towards the sky uh, up from yeah, probably about. 67.5 all the way up to about 69 and I know that's similar to what I just said but it's it's backing it up with the uh with it's it's a different point of view a different angle right and and the angle is the volume weighted ATR bands you guys know when we're above them okay when we're above these volume weighted ATR bands let me just sort this disgusting chart out here we go beautiful stuff yeah if, if we can see these volume weighted ATR bands, this one here, right, once we're above it, nice little trends can form as well as uh, towards the downside, right, uh, when we lose the green ones. And again here, beautiful stuff. So what we're looking for is that. If we can get above this 15 minute volume weighted ATR band, currently around 67.2, uh, then yes, it's it's a lot more bullish. It's a lot more bullish for, the, for, for tonight, essentially, right? Um, Towards downside though, if we essentially lose this low here, 65K, very, very bad. I would expect us to very promptly come down and test this four hour volume weighted ATR band. And uh, this is this is the one you don't want to ignore as we talked about previously, right? Uh, and again, open interest resets at 62.5. So we're really looking around this kind of zone. If it is gonna be a dirty, disgusting, dumpy crash, okay, it'll be something like this. And then we look to reclaim the volume weighted ATR band in which we find a little long, beautiful stuff, and the money can be made. And uh, yeah, we're in a pretty nice, decent win streak right now, guys. So we're feeling pretty confident in these markets. I've seen this play out. I wouldn't say hundreds of times, but many, many times, okay? Probably between 30 and 60 times across a lot of different assets. And uh, yeah, this this is no different. We've had a break of structure. We're testing some lows uh, and we're gonna see if we can recover or we're gonna see if we enter a bit more of a bearish wintry summer uh, for uh, crypto, right? and then potentially recovering around Christmas. And yeah, that's a bad scenario and, and it's not anything anyone wants, but we have to be prepared for it. We're, we're traders here at the end of the day. We've got to be non-biased. We've got to be out here making money and being aware of every scenario that can happen and then having a strategy to make maximum profit with maximum win percentage uh, across these times, okay? So that is gonna be it from me. Have a fantastic day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you got some value from it. Again, I do this all for you and if you want to help the channel if you want to get uh, you guys some giveaways and stuff like that then feel free to join the patreon where i do ta daily okay daily ta for you guys on altcoins and as well as that you get access to all of my indicators as i just drop everything on the floor i'll see you guys in the next one have a fantastic one peace out and goodbye cheers